Chronic pancreatitis is an inflammatory disease of the pancreas. In many cases, it is idiopathic. We know that in children with mutations in CFTR, they develop severe pancreatic disease early called cystic fibrosis. This study is to explore the question of whether or not special types of mutations in CFTR that only disrupt bicarbonate secretion, but not chloride secretion, will cause pancreatitis in individuals without lung disease. To investigate this problem, we conducted a detailed evaluation of 53 individuals with idiopathic chronic pancreatitis and 27 probands from families with unexplained pancreatitis. We screened the known genes of the cationic trypsin gene, or PRSS1, the SPINK1 gene, which is a trypsin inhibitor, and the CFTR gene with 27 exons. We did complete sequencing and then looked at the results in a confirmatory population to make sure that the findings were valid. A surprising finding from the first part of the study was that a very common CFTR variant, R75Q, was markedly increased in the patients who had unexplained chronic pancreatitis. We then turned to a study in cells to find out how this mutation actually behaves under physiologic conditions. Patients with known causes of pancreatitis, such as alcoholism or PRSS1 mutations, were excluded. Among the idiopathic pancreatitis patients, SPINK1 variants were identified in 36% as opposed to 3% of healthy unrelated controls. The CFTR variant R75Q was identified in 16% of patients and 5.4% of controls. Both of these genes have a statistically significant independent risk factor for pancreatitis. However, combined mutations in both SPINK1 and the R75Q were identified in 8.75% of our patients and only 0.15% of controls, giving an odds ratio of 62.5. R75Q is considered to be a benign variant and not cause cystic fibrosis, and previous functional studies have shown wild-type levels of protein expression and chloride conductance. However, our pancreatic duct cell model suggests that CFTR is a bicarbonate channel, so we cloned and expressed R75Q in HEK cells and performed functional studies. Patch clamp analysis revealed that R75Q's CFTR in fact did have wild-type chloride conductance, but bicarbonate conductance was reduced to about 10% of normal. Previous studies have shown that CFTR mutations, such as the cystic fibrosis causing delta F508 plus SPINK mutations, are associated with idiopathic chronic pancreatitis. The importance of this finding are that common mutations that were previously thought to be benign that only affect bicarbonate secretion specifically target the pancreas. The R75Q mutation is the first example of this bicarbonate only uh, disease causing mutation. As one can see from this diagram of a pancreatic duct cell, in the case of uh, pancreatic secretion, chloride cannot get in on the basal lateral side shown on the left and if there is a bicarbonate specific mutation in CFTR, bicarbonate can get, not get out on the right side into the duct. So neither chloride or bicarbonate can be transported across the duct cell and into the pancreatic duct. If there is no pancreatic fluid secretion, enzymes back up inside of the pancreas and markedly increase the risk for premature trypsin activation, pancreatic injury, acute pancreatitis, and eventually chronic pancreatitis. This gives physicians new insight into the reason patients get idiopathic pancreatitis and give us ideas and targets for new therapies.